Is that a new um, E-Rock monitor? Yeah. Yeah. It is, huh? It's Just tilt it this way just a tad if we could at some juncture. Because I like seeing E-Rock, too. Yeah? It's like a little yeah. display. It's a, it's uh it's very slimming E Rock. Oh, is it? Yes, the new monitor. He, it's very Just slimming. Just a little. Opa obviously has to see a little. Is that? Can you uh, see that? No, no, I can't see it. That's I can't. Like... I can't see it when it's uh, straight on. Actually, there you go. You got to adjust know. the light. We, we need to light up E Rock a little bit more in there. Yeah, E Rock. E Rock, you need some lights on you. He lurks in the shadows in that booth. And he knows exactly he? where the camera is because so many times when he doesn't want to be He's picked on, just you out notice. Of it. Yes, he moves backwards. <laughs> And then you're you're not sure if he's in there, so you're like, ah, I'm yeah. not gonna I'm not gonna take my shot because I'd rather take my shot right in front of his face. Yep, it's not fair to do it when he's uh, taking a dump. <laughs> <laughs> then, like out of nowhere, you just see this fucking hand with the little infant indented knuckles, right. reaching for the board. When he's part of the team, you yeah. see you see all of Iraq. Yeah. Well, when he knows the heat is coming his way, he backs oh, up a little bit, gets out of camera view. Iraq, <laughs> is that true? Come on, Iraq, comment. Sure. <laughs> wow, he's just like Jesus Christ. The music just started us or stopped from the beginning of the show, and I'm. I uh, I gotta say, Rock. Um, I think Club Soda Kenny is on your side and sticks up for you because Whoa. there was just some, there was a little discussion on the way in this morning, and I asked uh, Kenny a, a question, and he goes, "Of course you have to. You guys pick on him relentlessly." Yikes! Is Kenny a fan of yours, E Rock? Uh, Kenny is good people. He's good people. He's yeah. hmm, he's accusing us of bullying. I think. Uh, though. I was very surprised by uh, what Kenny said this morning. Do well, we bully E Rock? E Rock, are, are you? Do you feel bullied? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Aunt, be a star. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> well, what what did, what did, what did, why did Kenny say that? Well, there might be. Uh, oh, oh no, there might be a, another song. Oh. That, oh. Surfaced overnight. Of course there is. <laughs> <laughs> this will keep going until you finally decide to do something else. <laughs> Read a news story or something. <laughs> oh, we'll do that, too. Yeah, sure. we'll, we'll certainly do that, too. Yeah. Is it complimentary? I like a good complimentary song. I think it's very complimentary, oh, that's to be nice. honest with you. Why? Yes. No? You don't see it that way? Huh? I mean, I didn't... Wait a minute. If Sam's even questioning it and not doing his bullshit, no, this is great. This is a well-done oh, song. You know oh, it's oh. bad. Boy, we can't get anything past you these days. <laughs> yeah. He's really, he's really caught on, huh? He really has, man. Gonna have yeah. to change my tune. Mm. I, didn't, I guess... Uh, I didn't put it in the complimentary no? category uh, myself, but... Uh, t I don't know. Tannerite Mike, I would say, on Twitter. Tannerite. Tannerite Mike. Yeah, let's do that. Tanner Wright, R I T E, Mike. Uh, Tanner, yeah, whatever. Okay, he came up with this. I'm just trying to give him a little plug on his Twitter. Uh huh. You help the show, you get a plug on Twitter. That's fair, right? It's nice. Get some <laughs> uh, some of those <laughs> followers. Right. Sean F did very well with uh, followers yesterday. We did. And this is another one that makes a horribly insulting song about E Rock. And then in the description writes, I love E Rock. He's so great on the show. Yeah, yeah, see? It's like, hey, I'll it's all just in fun. Well. It's an homage. Eric? Just play it already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh <God. laughs> you, don't, you don't think it makes it okay when the people who write the songs make sure that they mention what a big fan of yours they are? No, I don't, Sam. Oh. Ah, wow. it's, like, it's like at the end of a roast when they go, yeah, but I love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's so true. Yeah. Yeah, that's very confusing to me. Right? What was the roast uh, recently? Franco? Uh, James Franco? James Franco, yeah. There's a lot of, uh, but I love you at the end. A lot of, yeah, but you know. That's stupid, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Why do they do that, Jimmy? Um, it it kind of, it, it seems a little too forced. I, I mean, I think when you're watching a roast, you you feel like, in general, that uh, the people roasting you are truly your friends, even though they, they throw some other people in there just to get some attention. I think that we're not, especially as, as, as time goes on and everybody's this phony politeness, too. We're taught less and less that you're supposed to be really outwardly mean to people. Uh -huh. Like, you know, you, you know, you, you, they would even do that back in the old days, though. Rickles would go, but he knows I love him. I'm kidding. He knows I'm kidding. Because right. yeah, it is really weird to roast. sit there. and Yeah. Normally, you make fun of something. You don't just sit there and assault a person next to you in front of everyone. <laughs> 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 and when, you, when you fire off a bunch of great lines on someone, because right. I mean, you're attacking their career. Yes. You're really of, getting them good. Everything. Yeah. But there's got to be a better way to do that, but I love your part. 
It, that part just always seems a little weird and forced. It's, it, well, yeah, it's like two fighters hugging at the end of the match. It, yeah. It's like what we're doing here is what we're doing here, and it's, it's, it's for, for the reasons that it's for. Right. But, you know, when all is said and done, I really do respect you. Nothing personal no. that I'm punching you in the face, right? It's, I, I respect you, sure. I like to feel that it's real. Yeah, that's what I, makes it a little, do, little more fun for me. I do like a boxing match or a UFC match where the guys genuinely don't like each other. Oh yeah, I love and those. I I kind of I, I get bummed out when they kind of shake hands or give a good like right. fist bump before the fight. I'm right. like, oh man, they kind of like each other and respect each other. I'd rather just utter hatred, right? So you know you're gonna get a good fucking fight. How about the utter hatred? And then, uh, with Jimmy's point, at the end of it, they're like, holy fuck, I gotta respect you now. That was a sick fight. That is. I like that, too, sometimes. I saw a fight once with two guys and fucking just beating the shit out of each other. And at the end, the guy, like, was talking to the crowd and totally turned him around. I think it was in Russia. Right. And he was like, if if we could get along here, <laughs> and, and then maybe everyone... Yeah, yeah, it was good. Well, we are getting along. Was. Look, uh, you just missed it. Obama and Putin. Oh, yeah. Hanging yeah. out together now. That's, yeah, they're best of pals now. Putin Great. is now officially the, the world's leader, by the way. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Good. I think Obama has been bumped down to number two. Good, take it. Take the fucking think, reins to be world police leader now, Putin. Go you, ahead, have fun. You think Putin's going to blow it, though? Um, No, I think they're just going to let Syria off the hook. He's the man thing. right now. Putin is the man. Yeah. And if he plays it right, the fucking world's going to like Putin. As he fucking sends, sends weapons to, and missiles to fucking Iran. Of course, I know. It's like, I we, know. It's ridiculous. We aren't is. on the same team. Can we just get that fucking straight here? Russia and the U.S. are still not on the same team. And when Romney said that during uh, the election, uh, he was goofed on. Right. He was goofed on relentlessly, like, oh, the 80s called. They want the Cold War back. And it's like, no, th they are still... Not not like a Cold War enemy like they were, but no, they're not our friends. Let's get that straight. And they do throw monkey wrenches into our fucking bullshit that we got to do. And that's kind of what they're doing now. But if we had a strong leader, that wouldn't happen. But I don't want to get into it right now because we're we have better things to do like Iraq fucking song. <laughs> and very rarely after a fight, by the way, do you ever see the guys like uh, D the Nick Diaz? He's mm. a shit talker. Right. And even after the end of a fight, even he, they, they never dicks to each other at the end of the fight. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah. Like two guys punch each other. There's there's a bond they share that yes. nobody in the audience has, exactly. even if they don't like each other. Right. Right. They right. understand each other better than the, anyone in that mm -hmm. crowd does. The only time right. I remember shit talking was when Brock Lesnar did it. Oh. And he was shit talking the opponent and the sponsor and every and then he got a talking to and that was the end and of that, that. Was, and that even he even said was more from his wrestling background yeah. as a part of the whole Fuck selling him anyway <laughs> brought down by a fucking sesame seed this colon <laughs> be a big tough guy <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll kick his ass yeah I bet you will he would be uh, <laughs> he would be safe in my son's school though all oh, right no seedless and nutless right seedless and nutless big fucking bruiser sitting at the seedless nutless table <laughs> seedless mm. and nutless at, at the school my kids going to i was telling anthony i i don't know man i don't know it is a weird world i so yeah well one of the things they discussed i had to go and uh check out the school and the classroom meet the teachers and meet the head of the place and uh they went over the rules and all that shit and you know you, we learned that it's a seedless nutless place and then <laughs> they were talking about the allergy kids yeah and i know there's a lot of parents out there with allergy kids we got one in my family as well, mm -hmm. in my extended family. So, but I don't understand. I just don't understand where these kids were when we were growing up. <laughs> I'm obsessed <laughs> with this because the ladies like, and if you have a, a kid with the EpiPens, you need two EpiPens, <laughs> and we got to sign in the EpiPens, and they got to be <laughs> behind the EpiPen glass box. I don't know. I think they're putting them in a glass box so they can break the glass and get the EpiPen. Like, oh, it's a, really? And I don't remember. Growing up, a kid getting hit with an EpiPen. I'd never heard of an EpiPen when I was growing up. Yeah. Like, nobody had peanut allergies yeah, or yeah, EpiPens. Yeah. Like, a, a little known fact, I'm supposed to have an EpiPen. You what? are? Yes. Because really? the apples? I blew it off, though. Good for you. Yeah, I only, had, I only had one incident, and, you know, I was in the emergency room with a huge fucking swollen, ridiculous face. Is it apples for you? I know I'm very allergic to apples, trees, grass, cats, dogs. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. Dust.
trees, <laughs> grass, and dust. Well, when I went to the allergist, I said, okay, I'm allergic to trees and grass. What kind? You know? Yeah. It's a good thing there's not a lot of those on Earth. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I'm like, what? Yeah, there are. You're allergic to the planet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. The things well, that produce oxygen. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Also allergic to people, obviously. Oh. But uh, I go, all right, trees and grass. Okay, what kind of trees and grass? He goes, no, trees and grass. I thought he would give oh. me a couple, like, right. specific kinds. of The elm. Yeah. Right. Thank the you. elm tree can uh, I, make you sneeze. I believe the birch, the birch tree. The birch. I think that is uh, related to apples or something. I don't know. Oh. But anyway, so, yeah. so I, I just want to know where the Epi kids were when we were growing up. I don't remember any kid dropping during fucking school. Mm -hmm. Like, like we just went. I would remember that. And then I asked Dan. Traumatic. I asked Dan. Did those kids just die? And no, they didn't. Because we. I don't, I remember, don't remember any that. kids dying in Washington Drive School when I was just a no. little nugget. They drowned in the sump. They got hit by cars. Thin ice was a big one. Thin ice. That was yeah. a big one when we were growing up. Sure. When sure. we used to have winter. Yeah. That was many years ago. But winter. What, what, I never heard a kid eat a peanut and then fucking collapse know, in the cafeteria. We laughed at peanuts growing up. Need to be stabbed like he's fucking on the, the beaches of Normandy getting a morphine shot. It just fucking <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I, what? Ha but what? I don't know what has changed. I don't know. Because I just don't remember it. I don't remember uh, a kid being sequestered. Yeah. To eat his his little sad lunch because he's allergic to everything. They put him at its whole separate table. It seems like it's a real thing kids. though. Like I know it's a real thing. literally oh, yeah. clothes, right? Yeah, I know it's a real thing. But what I'm saying is, we obviously have a couple generations uh, represented here. Yeah. Our generation, we just didn't have this growing up. There's got to be some kind of hormones that are going into pregnant ladies or something. Do you think now some, are... there was some twist in the last couple decades? Yeah, or did we have it be. that we mistook it for something else? I think we might have missed. Yeah, what, what, what did we so? think it was growing up? Yeah, it had to be there. I, I told that I think what it might have been was asthma. When we were growing up, there yeah, were a lot yeah, of yeah, asthma. Uh, it's true. Nobody really has asthma anymore. When we were growing no. up, there were a lot of kids that had asthma. You know what? Maybe it was the peanuts. and they had the inhalers. Yeah, maybe it was peanuts. I don't. You don't see asthma as much because maybe now it's redirected to some kind of allergy thing. Uh, that's the only thing I can figure out. Maybe inhalers will help peanut allergies. I don't know. But we didn't have kids flopping around at school because, you know, there was peanut dust and he touched a kid. <laughs> That's why they don't want any any seeds or peanuts in this school, because it, it's not that, you know, the kid's going to eat a peanut butter and, uh, and jelly sandwich. He's fully aware he's allergic to peanuts because the parents like hammer it into his head at, from an early age. But they're talking about if my son has peanuts yeah. and then touches a kid oh, yeah. that's allergic. That's all it could take. Oh, it spreads like Ebola, <laughs> <Right>. apparently. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. I remember there was a, a, a lunch lady, and she was called uh, Mrs. Mrs. Hasma, and Mrs. she would, Hasma. and she was constantly yelling at everybody, right. and the kids would be like, "Aha, you got a hazma attack!" <laughs> when, you got, when you got yelled at by her, it was we called it a hazma attack. <laughs> Because <laughs> you like you cut the line, she'd be like, "Don't cut the line." It's like, "Aha, you got a hazma." Well, that's attack. pretty funny. Mrs. Hasma. I don't know, and yeah. I mean, people got answers, but it's not about answers today. No, it's just it's all we about, don't care about answers. Really? It's all about being confused. I, yeah. I just uh, I don't know where they went because even if it was something else like but it was called something else. Yeah, I don't remember peanuts ever being lethal. They are. Mm -hmm. I want to make perfectly clear here that we know they're lethal. Like, I'm, all I'm saying is I don't know where oh, this yeah. was when we were growing up. It's chemical right. warfare at this point. It's like this a peanut dust. Dark. Yeah, right. yeah. Peanut dust is like fucking. <clears throat> Crazy, like sarin gas. Yeah, you spread it over schools. Can you imagine the children? Oh, man. Peanut <sighs> dust. That's all you need, really. Yeah, and then uh, uh, really fast, uh, the first political correctness thing happened yesterday at the school. Uh-oh. Uh, it's your first day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened? You know, you have... Oh. Oh, Louis C.K. Happy birthday to Louis C.K., 46 years old today. Is that a, is that a short clip? It's Yeah, it's only a minute 46 on nut allergies. All right, let's go with this oh, yeah. really fast, then we'll move on. Have your bad thoughts. Hopefully you, hopefully you do good things. Everybody has a competition in their brain of good thoughts and bad thoughts. Hopefully they win, the good thoughts win. For me, I always have both. I have like the thing I believe, the good thing. That's the thing I believe. And then there's this thing. And I don't believe it, but it is there. It's always this thing and then this thing. It's become a category in my brain that I call, of course, but maybe. 
I'll give you an example. Okay, like of course, of course, children who have nut allergies need to be protected. Of course. We have to segregate their food from nuts, have their medication available at all times, and anybody who manufactures or serves food needs to be aware of deadly nut allergies. Of course. <laughs> but maybe, <laughs> maybe if touching a nut kills you, you're supposed to die. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Of course. Jesus. <laughs> I have a nephew who has that. I'd be devastated if something happened to him. But maybe, <laughs> maybe if we all just do this for one year, we're done with nut allergies forever. <laughs> <laughs> No, of course not. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's the very, brilliance of Louis C.K. Jesus, funny. happy birthday, Lou. Louis, birthday. Well, I don't think any type of child being sick in a, in a, is 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 fodder for humor. That's just my take. I'm offended by that, and I don't think he should be able to do comedy anymore. <laughs> what a great, what a brilliant way to set it up, too. Of course, and maybe yeah. you can talk about anything in that, yeah. Yeah. In that context, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course not. <laughs> um, so. So it was parent night, you know, and introduction Ooh. to the school, the teachers, the classroom, and all that. And then they were going through the schedule and things uh, that, you know, could be expected mm. uh, when your kid attends school there. And they used to have something called uh, Leadership Day. Leadership Day. It's already begun. So they used to have something called Leadership Day. Mm -hmm. And basically, you know, it's your kid's turn to kind of be a leader for the day. And, it, and it's just dumb stuff. Like if there's an announcement in the class, your kid gets to do it. Or if they're, mm. if they're going to the gym and they have to line up, he leads the line. Just dumb shit, right? Good way to make a nice little uh, Hitler. <laughs> Jesus. So they said, well, you know, policy has changed and we uh, no longer call it Leadership Day. Oh, boy. And I looked around the room quickly because this is something I've been very curious about way before even having kids. Like, mm. where the fuck does this shit come from? Right. And I, I truly believe for a very long time that it was the parents just becoming idiots and assholes. Yeah. Like the majority. So I looked around and I saw all the looks. And then the teacher goes, we still have it, but we just call it hosting day. Ew. So your kid gets to be the host the for host. the day. Oh. Well, so you're not the boss. Hey. Right, right, right. How Nobody... you doing, everybody? Right. Feeling good tonight? Right. Come on. <laughs> and as the teachers were saying this, they were kind of roll almost rolling their eyes like, look, we know this is ridiculous. And they hinted that someone had a problem with this. The kids play follow the host now. Right. <laughs> right. So, exactly. terrible. so they changed it from leader to host. And then I quickly looked around the room again. I wanted to see the reaction. Yeah. Every single, I swear there wasn't one. Not one parent that went, oh, you know, this is a very good thing for our yeah. children. They all were rolling their eyes, sighing, looking at their their spouses like, what? So who comes up with this shit? It's the one fucking person that complains, and then the school, in this case, yeah. collapses and caters to the one weak fucking parent that can't talk to their kid. If their kid has a problem with being a leader or, or what that means to them, then it's your job to sit them down and, and work around that. Mm -hmm. Isn't teaching kids to be leaders a good thing? Yeah. Like, aren't kids supposed to learn no, leadership apparently qualities? not anymore. And, and it comes down to this. When your Fascist. kids leave the Ugh. school and go into the real world, it, it, it those aren't the rules that you're going to follow in society. Everyone knows that. Leadership qualities have always been, like, a, a good thing. Were you tempted to ask, like, can I ask without like without being a disruptive parent, like, uh -oh. can I ask what, what the purpose of that You'd is? You'd be a problem, then. But you might not. All the other parents might want right. to know, too. You might just have more balls on them to ask. I, I I probably would ask you know like not in front of everyone on the first day I don't want oh, first day I yeah. don't want to come across as that guy the person <laughs> the person I'm gonna come across as <laughs> difficult <laughs> I like, yeah I like giving it a little time you'll be difficult there was no reason to ask because you could tell the teachers were like you know we had this issue it came from the mysterious place upstairs I'm sure sure like yeah. the teacher can't tell you where it came from the the, the, a, the parents can't tell you but it's like oh yeah well upstairs they 
Obviously, it's, it's a happened. little thing. It's a subtle thing, but it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, that is. And I I I silly. now know from just us talking about it over the years that it's not the majority of parents. I really thought it was for a long time. It, it's 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 the very very small minority. Yeah, but for some reason. Their voice is louder than the majority, and I, I just don't understand that. I think a lot of times, too, it comes from these fucking dumb administrators. It's not they, No one even complained about it, but the administrators think like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't like that leadership thing. Right. Let's call it hosting day. Hostess oh, day. Oh, God. You're today's host. Jeez. That's like what Snooki does at bargains. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lieutenant Johnson will be hosting the battle today. Right. He'll be <laughs> hosting you into battle. What do you need, a two-host soda? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's different, Jimmy. <laughs> but when my kid comes home, I'll tell him, I'll go, so how was uh, being a leader today? Mm. You know, I'll, I'll try my workarounds. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I was a host, Dad. Oh, God. No, you weren't a host. And kids end up being pumped out of schools, being expected to be just waiting to be told what to do. Yeah. Right. Like, with no sort of get up and go-ness. I think, no. I think if society no. was changing drastically, then fine, do all this in school. But it's not. It's not. You're, you're <laughs> pushing these kids out into the real world, and they're not treated like equals. And next thing you know, they're jumping off the top of a building somewhere because they yeah. can't handle it. What happened? Wouldn't it be nicer if they explained why they did it? Like, if the teacher goes, look, here's the thinking behind this. Because, you know, a couple of these little bastards just, you know, as soon as they're in charge, they pick up rocks and they hit the other kids with it. <laughs> <laughs> like, wouldn't that at least make you go, oh, all right, I kind of yeah. get why they're right. too young right now to understand they, leadership and yeah. how to delegate responsibility. Right. They were. They had to be careful, but they were vague. But they, it was very obvious what it was. It was somebody in mm. years past, within the last couple of years, actually, uh, someone complained, Yeesh. and the school said, "Oh, okay," and, yeah. and catered to that. Uh, you know, Some that parent, lib fuck parents sitting there. The kid comes home. I was the leader today. Le no, we don't need that. Right? Why would you be the leader over anybody else? Right? Or I wasn't the leader. Yeah. yeah. Or I wasn't the leader. I right, wasn't right. the leader. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Right. But yeah, you're right. They never tell the parent, like, well, we're sorry you feel that way, but we feel... They just never do. Yeah. It's like, you know, we could bring it back to ourselves and radio and radio shows that get kicked off the air because the the very, very tiny minority has a massive voice. Mm -hmm. And the people that enjoy a certain radio show, you know, the majority, they get fucked in the end. Exactly. It's unbelievable. So mm. that was about it. Wow. And then just kind of looking around the room going, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I pray most of these people aren't in my home. Like you're... just thinking which of these assholes are going to end up on my couch. Yes. Oh, yeah, you're, yeah you, you, you now have a relationship in some way, shape or form with these people. People were like, you know, looking for a little contact, a little talk. And I just averted my eyes the whole time. Shut them down. <laughs> yes, because yeah. I'm like. Shut I'll have, right down. I'll have a wait and see on this one. Stay the fuck out of my life. <laughs> I know how to read people, and there are a few, and they're like, Ugh. they're yeah. playing their parts, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mm. whatever. Uh, so, what does this have to do with the E Rock song? Yeah, I don't know. I it was mean. I mean, I, I think that. Uh, are we officially doing an E-Rock parody song contest? I, I thought we oh, weren't. man. Well, I don't even think we need to do an official contest. I don't think we have to yeah. either. I think the listeners are taking it upon themselves to just feel like, oh, I can be a part of the right. show if I yeah. do this. E-Rock, we, can't, we can't control the listeners when they take it upon themselves to do this type of thing. You do understand that, right? Why do you keep talking to me about this? We're not we're <laughs> not really we're not really pushing this forward is what yeah. I want want you to know. The listeners have figured out they're guaranteed to get on the air <laughs> yeah. and any rock song. And and then they get Twitter followers out of it. Yeah, they do. Like uh, Sean F, Mondo270. He did very well with the Twitter followers yesterday. Yeah, we could turn that camera a little and, and get more of E-Rock and less of a glass in front of the thing, yeah, right? Why? Yes. Yeah, we don't need the we glass. Need more, we need more coverage. Yeah. Can we get more coverage on E-Rock? Yeah, you want me to turn the lights on in there? Oh, gee. Need more light? No, the camera. Ant's right. Yeah, the camera could be turned. E-Rock is all the way to the left of uh, yeah. the screen. E-Rock, could you get up on the chair and turn the camera, please? Oh, boy. Oh, he's, he's not said. having it. Why? He's still sitting in the chair. Yeah, he's not. Uh, All right, we'll have Morris fix that. Want to be Where's Morris? He's here. All excited. The new phone program. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that font is pretty small. I know I, I like a big font, but that font's pretty small on the phone thing, right? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's bad. Make it's that tiny. a little bigger. I can't tell what the fuck people want. Morris. 
Sir. We need a bigger font on this. Yes. Not now. <clears throat> and we want to see E Rock better. Okay. If we could turn that camera toward the E Rock, less glass, more E Rock. I could do it right now. Less glass, more ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> E Rock Anthony said that one. I, anybody knows I'm kidding. It's all part of the show. That's E-Rock's right. Rock's like a character, like Mr. Amis does. That's right. We're all just kidding. Right. It's all fun. It's We're all, all fun. Just kidding. It's all fun in the end, like a roast. Right. <laughs> yeah. But well, we it's, love you. Except E Rock doesn't get to go up to the dais. No, he doesn't. He likes a good roast, though. <laughs> oh, oh, see, that's what, a roast? food <laughs> joke. But that's good. Yes. What would you do? Put in barbecue sauce <laughs> <laughs> I do chuckle. One, a, a few people are like, Hey, E-Rock, you should have told him that barbecue sauce has a lot of salt and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you got your fans out there, E-Rock. Uh, yeah. You know you do. With that, let's play the latest uh, E-Rock oh, song. Sure, E-Rock. We love him. But we love him. Uh, this song is a parody of the song Roar. Oh. Don't, don't give away what he, this guy calls yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I think you almost did. I almost did. You're right. right. Wow. It's a nice reveal. That would have sucked. <laughs> it's a nice reveal. You eat cold, Chef Boyardee? Cold SpaghettiOs. Oh, God, it's disgusting. It's, it's terrible. terrible. Can't yeah, yeah. chicken and stars. It doesn't chicken even noodles. get, like, good stuff. Wait, what, what's chicken and stars? <laughs> chicken and pasta shaped as stars. You eat raw hot dogs? The Oscar Mayer cheese ones? I'll You're eat it raw. Such a weirdo. Eat. Do your wife ever catch you eating a fucking out-of-the-fridge cold <laughs> cheese weenie? Because that's that's eventually what's going to spark the fucking stabbing with the scissors <laughs> yes. or the fucking call to the lawyer. It's going to be she peeks in the room, he's yeah. watching cartoons eating a fucking frozen cheese weenie, and then she's going to fucking hire someone to cut his throat. <laughs> He doesn't have an ounce of self-respect. Exercise is something he neglects. So he sits quietly, eating Chef Boyardee. He never pays attention to the show. Stuffs his face with tubs of cookie dough. Boinks like a piggy. Big bitch titties. Request a song, he'll play one. But oh no, it's a live version. Where's E-Rock? We need him now. He's working on the phones with Sal, a full-grown man that plays with dolls. Sex bagel loves chicken and stars, cholesterol, butterball. He's got a gut like a tire, but wider. Inhales appetizers, his ass pulls a canyon. And E-Rock is as fat as a bull. Rounder than a bison, children get frightened. Cause E-Rock is as fat as a bull. Iraq is a dinosaur. It's oh. <laughs> not very nice. Were those, his, were those his footsteps at the end? I think so. Yeah, yeah. It was wow. from uh, Jurassic Park. That is. The, it can wasn't you, nice. No. He, he leaned out of the camera again. Oh. Can you take a look, Sam? And this is after <laughs> Mars would readjust to the camera. Yes, he. But he's still out of. He's <laughs> lurking in the shadows again. Yeah, he's, he looks very unhappy. He's almost uh, holding his hands <laughs> like Brando in The Godfather. He's right, got his right, fingertips right. all kind of pushed More like together. Apocalypse yes. now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's waving at me, but oh, also that's... scowling. All right, waving's good though. Yeah. Did you fix the fat cam? Mm. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. See. <laughs> See what he looks like after that one. Uh, 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 okay, uh, now he's not looking at me. Mm. Looking at the floor. So, looks like he's contemplating what his next move is. Ask him if you like that. Okay. Hey, buddy. Did, okay, he's flipping me off right now. Oh. Did you hear the song? Thumbs up. Did you like the song? Okay, flipping me off again. Oh, that's not good. That, that's uh, the universal symbol for fuck you, <laughs> is what that is. <laughs> Mars doing, there you go. That's it. Now that's a good fucking view right there. That, that's a terrific view. What there about what about when Norton called it the fat cam? Little nickname? Okay, that's two oh, fingers. Oh, wow. Two fingers. Two, Not good. Two fingers. Oh, 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 oh. What song is that? Oh, oh. That's the Katy Perry oh, song. yeah, yeah. Roar. Huge, huge hit. Roar. Except uh, the girls like that one. And the boys. 
Yeah. See, I mean, the, more, the mashup, I'm assuming, is who you're talking about. Uh, yeah, the gals. Yeah. They, they, they're playing that song the a ladies, couple times an hour. The ladies down the hall. Three they, quarters men on that show, I thought. What? They throw the ball around a little bit, and then they play the Katy Perry song. That's their show. And they kind of just go, hey, girls, what do you think of the song? Yeah, the gals. <laughs> I'm fascinated now with the Iraq cam. I can't stop looking at it. Why? He, I don't know. He's like he because he's, he's running his hand over his face. He's just oh, I and I can't not watch this. <laughs> the best show on television. <laughs> Fuck cam girls. Yeah, you do an Iraq cam. Iraq cam. That's right. When we're nice. playing these songs, I'm telling you, it would do very well. How great would it be if the show had a visual element, but oh. Sirius just put the Iraq cam on the website? <laughs> that would be great. And it was a hit. Yes, I would love it. I would. E Rock, you would love that. Oh, Let me he's see not what he's really saying. Chatting. Would you love that, buddy? He's shaking his head. No, no, he wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, well, I was uh, it was clever. Oh, oh, oh no, mm -hmm. the guy uh -huh. took his time. Uh -huh. He settled uh -huh. in. Yeah, had a lot of show references. Oh yeah, certainly did. Mm -hmm. He did his homework. Very his voice, a uh, little, you know. Yeah, you know, but. A parody. Yeah, yeah. There was no shoehorning. Oh, there was a little bit of shoehorning there. Uh, not like Todd shoehorning. Yeah. No. no. I Todd feel like we, we tend to look past a lot of uh, quality issues oh, when, yeah, yeah. when <laughs> content and subject <laughs> matter is the brought into play. Yeah, when the punchline is a, exactly. boar, a boar or an elephant noise. <laughs> yeah. We're all in. Oh, yeah. 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 We don't care how you got there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the listeners have kind of figured out if they can be <laughs> exceptionally cruel, uh -huh. the voice, the song, the singing voice doesn't matter as much. Mm -hmm. Yep. But that guy likes E Rock, so it's all good. Well, it's all in good fun. And we all love E Rock. We love you. He's never said no as far as the show goes. Well, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, there are more jokes ready to go, but yeah, of course. They're just mean statements. Of course they are. Yeah. See, he says, I love E-Rock. He makes the show what it is. He's easily the most talented member Damn of it. the production staff. There you go. So how can you not like that Who's guy? Who's on the production staff? Him and Sal? They're pretty, yeah, it's him and Sal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. <laughs> it's kind of a drop-off. Okay, by default. <laughs> <laughs> he just made me snort. Yeah. <laughs> all right. There you go. Good nice. job. Good job to that guy. <laughs> Very good. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I want to know if uh, Scott and Todd are doing parody songs. Maybe, Today? A little, maybe a little warm up to Jocktober. I don't know if you want to. Can you find a Scott and Todd parody song today, E Rock? <laughs> e Rock knows other radio shows. Are they doing any parody songs right now? That's all they do. Can what's we find a, like a current one? <clears throat> yeah, what's oh, some a current the... one I don't have. I have older ones in here. No, I know that, but we we can monitor their show. Yeah, they we do one every day. day. I know they do one every day, so I want to see which one they're you know. topical. Do they do a Miley Cyrus? Uh, they probably did one or. Uh, I bet you they have. Syria? I bet you they have one done to blurred lines. Yeah, yeah. They probably got a Putin, a, a Putin, Putin song. Syria, da, da, da. <laughs> you got some nerd gas. Syria, you got you know. It's fucking. Can you just rattle them you off. You just gave yeah. them a fucking idea. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Can't believe they're still on the radio. What? Good they're, for them. They're killing it. They're killing it. Killing yeah. it. They kill it in the ratings. Well, no. Come on. I mean, they survive. That's stupid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, shake your butt, baby. Twerk and pout. Twerk Ooh, and pout. Whoa. I'm, I just, you got I'm, a million of them. I'm a machine. Wow. We could just do it. And, you know, that's the Miley Cyrus thing. Just pick a topic in the news. Let her rip. Hey, E-Rock, don't be defiant today. I want to do Johnny Cash Day. Ooh. Is that cool with you? E Rock has momentarily stepped out of the office. Uh, oh, wow. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, Roland's in there. Hi, Roland. Where's Eric? <laughs> he went to go set up the Scott and Todd recording. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so. oh, oh. He's doing some show related things. It's a real thing. Yeah. All right. Not just hoofing around back there. He's actually <laughs> I, out working. I thought, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Taking a nice deuce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yesterday morning. <laughs> Did, wasn't Sal there dead air because he, he thought he could get back in time yes. and he, he didn't? Well, there were two things this yeah. week. First, yesterday, uh, in the middle of the break, you know, we do the double break, and uh, there was like five seconds of dead air because he didn't get uh -huh. back to the studio. Didn't come back after making duties. But uh, <laughs> on Tuesday morning, Sal needed some kind of confirmation on something for the podcast, and he was like, E Rock, I need this real quick. Uh, 
you know, just give me a confirmation that this is the right thing so I can send it in. And he rock was like, no, no, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Did he have to do a one or a two? <laughs> Am I assumption? I would think a two. two. Oh, there he is. We got, uh, finally got him on camera. <laughs> no, that's not, uh, what? That's that's a that's a whale. Oh. Oh, I, oh, I thought that was the no. Uh, his camera's over oh, wow. here. Oh, oh, his screen's over it's here. It's a white whale, a it rare a white, white whale. whale. Spotted near Australia. That's right. Yeah. A white whale, like fucking Moby what is he, Dick. What is he scared? Oh, <laughs> the white whale. What the hell is going on with a, How many white whales do we have out there? I don't know. I just heard Moby Dick. I'm gonna I want to go like whale watching. Yeah? yeah, yeah. I want to check out some whales. How do you oh, do that? It just looks scary. You Can you do it off boat? Montauk? I think you do it on a boat. I don't think there's many whales on the uh, East Coast, are there? I don't know. I think you got to go out there to. Uh, no, you could do it in uh, Cape Cod. Yeah, okay, that's true. Yeah, you got to go up like north, right? Well, you got to go, you know, to yeah. hyenas. Uh, hyenas? No. <laughs> what's, what's the tip of Cape Cod where? It's a bit artsy and mysterious. P Town. P Town. You gotta oh. go to P Town. They have whale watching in P Town. A lot of mystery too. A lot of mystery. Mm -hmm. mm. Very mysterious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> Is this supposed to be like funny? Like when people hear that, they just fucking start cracking up. Uh, oh yeah. Hey, last Thursday for Sunday. Scat and in the morning. I can't wait for October. I just yeah. love how the listeners get involved with all the Facebook pages and just start posting horrid things. And and uh, should the listeners start? I don't know, tweeting you or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tweet me at not Sam. Uh, Jocktober suggestions. Yeah, because maybe we don't have to feature a show every day. Maybe we could start featuring like a bunch of bits. Yeah, bits. Just change it up a little bit. I got some things I'm already working on that you guys oh, are gonna just like. to change it up a little bit. Yeah, I like when we feature shows. Don't get me wrong, but maybe we could do some other things a little differently. Nothing parody song day maybe or nothing makes me feel worse than the uh, internet attacks. Oh, I always really? go home feeling like a horrible person. Feel bad about that. Yep. Mm. Why? Because it's just really ruining somebody's life for that moment. They are brutal. So they don't care what they post. Like, they're just sitting there. These DJs or, you know, PDs or whatever, just sitting there trying to live their life and yeah. be friendly and have this little radio show. And for no reason, a whole bunch of people just start putting the most horrific things. I, yeah. I was on the other side of that recently with that cake stomp shit. Oof. It's tough, right? It's not fun. Well, what? yours, that was real. People were angry. These are just yes. silly. That was like people oh, being... Oh, boy, yeah, but that was not it. fun, but that's not going to stop us from... It's not. <laughs> no, <laughs> continuing right. our way. Try to throw some compassion into this oh, thing. Oh, boy, yeah. it wasn't fun, though. Wow. Yeah. When wow. did you start to realize, like, oh, boy. Like, your first, you get, like, a few, like, hey, you're a dick, and you're like, all right, whatever. Uh, I was just, but what happened that you were like, ugh? I just had to turn it off. It was un It was endless. <laughs> it was hundreds Jeez. of the thousands of Trans. hate tweets. It was unbelievable how bad it was. I just had to shut down everything. People with a complete lack of understanding. Of yeah, what, what are you going to do? And then they move on to the next stupid thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. What happened to Coney? See, uh, they get him? Uh, uh, Joseph Coney? Oh, yeah. Jo <laughs> what happened to him? No, I don't, I don't no know. one cares. No. Remember when that was the big fucking thing? That guy had that meltdown, and that just seemed oh, to fuck yeah. everything Started up. Started jacking off on the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. it's like yep. you might have it. a cause after you jerk off on the corner. No. <laughs> yeah, boy. E Rock, you were gone. We're doing Johnny Cash Day today. Do you know any Johnny Cash songs? Yeah. Me and Jimmy could give you a little list of songs. Yeah. Yeah. He died ten years ago today. That's a quick ten years. Oh, really? Ten yep. years. Who? Johnny Cash. Oh, my God. I'm, he died 10 years ago today. Wow. 10 fucking years. I was in the car with Florentine going to the airport talking about it. I can't believe it's a wow. decade ago. At the age of 71. Yeah, right before we uh, came back to radio, I guess. Not right before, but uh, whatever. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Hmm. Johnny Cash day, huh? Oh, that's right. You don't like Johnny Cash. Well, it's not a. It's not like when it's played, I I get that mad like, oh god, I hate it. It's not that. It's just. I'm I'm surprised you wouldn't like Johnny Cash. There are a couple of songs I like because you kind of go into country a little bit. Couple of songs I like, but uh, it's just, 
It's just too much of the same thing. Really? How about Ain't No yeah. Grave? You ever hear that? That's no. much later oh, after yeah, he had yeah. his stroke, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Ain't, Ain't, no, Ain't grave. no Grave, Iraq. No. Yes, e Iraq knows ain't no gravy. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no gravy. <laughs> We've never played it, have we? I think so. Oh, okay. I'll fuck it. Let's play this into break. Johnny Cash oh, Day. There ain't no 